Don't split before you watch all of this. If you see a banana with this mark, throw it away immediately. Ah, uh, what could be so bad? Bananas. They're delicious, nutritious, and potentially malicious. Wait, what was that last part? How could one little banana do any harm whatsoever? Well, what if I told you that these days some of them can easily send you to the hospital? Yeah, you'll definitely want to know about this, so please keep watching. And don't forget that we have so many extremely important and useful videos like this one coming out every day on the Bright Side of Life. So be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss a thing. But back to bananas. The first huge, eye-opening case of this potassium-packed fruit's potential danger happened back in 2013. It started out innocently enough. A 29-year-old UK woman had just bought a couple of bananas, like we all do from time to time. She noticed white fuzzy spots on one of them, but figured it was just mold on the peel. However, as she was peeling the banana to eat it, get ready for this, she spotted tons of little spiders not only in the banana itself, but on her table and floor. Yeah, pure nightmare fuel. The woman acted quickly and took the bundle back to the grocery store for a refund. She also had to call pest control since her house looked like something straight out of a horror movie. The exterminator informed her that these were Brazilian wandering spiders which, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, are the most toxic spiders in the world. In fact, their venom is 30 times more potent than that of a rattlesnake. Apparently, these deadly spiders often hide in banana bundles after they get sorted. Thankfully, no one was bitten, but the family still had to leave their home for three days until it was absolutely safe again. Of course, the incident made a lasting impression on the family, and the woman even confessed that she was afraid to ever buy bananas again. And who can blame her? That would be utterly traumatizing. Bad pun warning, yes, that banana had lost its appeal. Hey, don't blame me. Now, unfortunately, this isn't the only case of its kind out there. Just one year after that, the story repeated itself when a father of two from Staffordshire to England bought some bananas and put them in a fruit bowl next to the window. After a couple of days, he saw a terrifying scene of white patches all over the windowsill and curtains with tons of tiny spiders on them. <laughs> of course, he immediately called pest control, who, once again, told the family to leave the house right away they were allowed to return only three days later. Even though the experts couldn't identify what type of spiders they were, since they were way too small, they suggested it could have been Brazilian wandering spiders. But come on, this was all five years ago. Surely this banana-invading spider dilemma has been solved by now, right? <laughs> Not at all. In May 2017, a 30-year-old English woman also became victim of this horrendous experience when she was about to peel her banana and noticed a white egg sac on it. This sac suddenly broke open, releasing hundreds of spiders that started crawling on her hands and arms. The rest of the story is the same. The woman and her 7-month-old son had to leave their house for three days so that the exterminators could get rid of all the deadly spiders. And guess what kind they were? Yep, the Brazilian wandering spider. Hey, don't they even check the visas on these spiders coming from over there? But that's not the most horrifying story. Venomous spiders can not only be on your food right there in plain sight, but also hidden among it. In July 2018, a Connecticut woman found the infamous and extremely deadly Black Widow in some prepackaged grapes she bought at the store. What's even worse, the woman and her son were halfway through the grapes when they made this terrifying discovery. Thankfully, nobody was hurt, 
But just imagine the situation. And something like this can happen to anybody. Well, as bone-chilling as all this is, experts say that finding spiders in your fruit is actually a good sign. <coughs> Excuse me? Apparently, they're just the result of pest management practices, trying to use fewer chemicals on food, and spiders can help out with that. But still, who wants to bite into some fruit and get a mouthful of spiders? I'd rather prevent that from happening altogether, wouldn't you? So, what can you do in this case? Simple. Carefully inspect fruit and veggies at the store before you buy them. If you see any strange white spots on them, or even on the fruits around them, don't even think about putting them in your grocery basket. In general, picking the best bananas depends on what you want to use them for. Keep in mind that green bananas ripen slowly while already ripe yellow ones can go brown pretty quickly. And don't forget to look closely for any brown spots or damage from handling. These aren't good signs as well. But enough about bananas. Let's split. Oops, sorry didn't warn you about the pun. There are tons of other amazing fruits that can turn out to be awful once you get them home. So how do you pick them correctly? <laughs> don't worry, I've got all the tricks you need. Starting with… Number 1. Apples When you buy apples, you definitely don't have to worry about finding spiders there. At least there haven't been any well-known cases of something like that happening. Still, if you unknowingly pick a rotten apple or one that has mold on it, you can get sick. And if just one of your apples has mold, it won't be long till this mold spreads to other perfectly fine ones. So, it goes without saying, don't buy or eat moldy apples. Secondly, if you see any holes in the apple, don't get it. They're caused by mold or insects and can make the exposed flesh inside the apple moldy as well. Good apples should be firm to the touch, full-colored, and have a nice smell. <sighs> Number 2. Pears When it comes to pears, buy two of them. So, you have a pear. Oh, we're talking about the fruit. <laughs> Sorry. With pears, everything depends on when you're going to eat them. If you want ripe pears right now, press a finger into the top of the pear where the stem joins the fruit. If it's soft, then you've found what you need. But be careful! Like most fruits, already ripe pears can go bad pretty fast. So, the sooner you can eat them, the better. If the pears you're about to buy are soft anywhere else, that's a bad sign of overripe fruit that shouldn't be consumed. However, if you're planning to eat them after a few days or so, the top should be hard. That way, they'll reach their full ripeness in a couple of days just in time for you to enjoy them. Number 3. Oranges Again, oranges are pretty safe from any unpleasant eight-legged surprises. Actually, they can even be used as a spider repellent. But as far as consuming them goes, you want to stay away from too soft and moldy oranges. There's also a big misconception of picking oranges by their color. This isn't always accurate, since ripe oranges can re-green. Instead, pick a firm, smooth, and thin-skinned product. Brown patches on oranges aren't bad either, they're just a sign that this product is from a warm and naturally humid region. So it's your call whether you're gonna buy this type or not. Number 4. Grapes Let's try to forget about that traumatic Black Widow incident and take another look at grapes. Well, you know the answer to the most important question. Yes, there's a very slim possibility of finding a spider there. But it really doesn't happen that often. So, if you still find grapes appealing… Wait a minute, I thought that was bananas that had appeal. Here's what you should know. First of all, the color is one of the best flavor indicators. The sweetest green grapes are yellow-green, and the best red ones are predominantly red. As for black grapes, it's better to choose richly black ones. And just like with pretty much any fruit, grapes need to be firm and mold-free. That's it! 
If you follow these simple rules, you'll have perfectly sweet grapes on your table at all times. Number 5. Peaches Now, Peaches are delicious and all, but it can be hard to pick the best ones. The first clue of a good peach is a vibrant color. The only red flag here is lighter parts with green ones, which means that the peach was picked way too early and won't taste as good as a ripe one. The second clue is the firmness. The juicier the peach, the more ripe it is. Just like with pears, you have to press on the top. If it starts to give, then the peach is ripe. And the most important thing is no mold. That's true for any fruit you want to buy. As you've seen today, what may seem like mold could be a dangerous spider's home. And even if it's not, you still shouldn't eat or keep moldy food. So be careful and make sure to double-check everything before buying and consuming the product. But how about you? Have you ever seen any of these weird spots on your fruit? And do you know any other ways to spot potentially dangerous produce? Please tell us in the comments below. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a like and share it with everyone you know. And for more bright side in your life, just click subscribe and join the family. See you soon!